Sometimes it could be, and then they call you on private straight away. Do you not think I know who it is? I know it's you. Stop. I'm sick and tired of these trading adverts on Instagram. Listen, please. We don't want to trade with you. We don't want to trade with you. We don't want to trade with you. We all know it's a lie. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. AP on the wrist, you don't know. All thanks to Forex trading. Really? Really? Having to tell the waiter who's done a shit job anyway that you don't want to pay the service charge. My friend, you know that you've done a rubbish job. Usually they do it and they take it off cool. But some of them will say, was there anything wrong with the service? You know that you've done a rubbish job. You know if a guy wants to take you out, having to split it, split the bill. What is this? What is this? I'm just basing this on stories that I've heard. Recently, we are in 2019. This argument has been out for years, and yet still people are wanting to pretty to split the bill. The fact that we're still having this debate about first dates. Come on, first date debate still really? It's enough. You've asked me out. You've asked me here. I've got through that home. <clears throat> You're gonna pay for the bill. especially and right might delete later you're not gonna delete it you're not going to delete it it's been there for 36 weeks when do you plan on deleting it sis when anytime 
you decide to let one off, a fart, okay? A fart! I said it. That's when people want to come in. You can be by yourself. You can be in a secluded area. You decide to let that fart off, that's when someone wants to walk in. Oh! They're looking around. The place is clean. As soon as you've dealt it, someone flipping comes in to smell it. Why? People who are not insured, you guys could be having such a good time, you're in the car, eh. as soon as they see any blue light, any car could be an ambulance. The atmosphere changes, sit up straight, seatbelt, and you're scared, you're thinking what's going on? My friend just getting insured. This is not, this is not even living on edge, this is living irresponsibly. Watching a movie on your dibby dibby site and then pop up wants to come and tell you that you can make 55 million in a day. Okay. The worst one is when you're trying to get a film up and there could be a whole room of people and you see a big bum vagina on the screen. These porn adverts are getting really wild. One, two, three movies, port locker, vid locks, all of that. You're asking for trouble. When you have had your hair done, your weave done or you've laid down your lace, you go to have a shower, put your head scarf. You've wrapped it up with another thing there. Put another plastic thing there. Shower cap on top and you think you're protected. You come out and all this is wet. How? How is this happening? I hate high wigs, guys. It's 2019. You're gonna hear me say this a lot because I can't believe that even in this year, with all tutorials available, wonderful hairstylists available, Instagram pictures you see, you're still seeing this. Hair by Chantel, hair by Malika, hair by Tamiya. Do you not see what's wrong here? Do you not see what's wrong here? And if you feel like this is okay, you are the problem. You can't go to the hair shop looking bummy without one auntie saying, You want to do your hair? No! I don't. You can use it, we're tired of the xylophone. Ding, ding, we're tired of the xylophone. Let's use another instrument. Let's use another instrument. Let's use another instrument! That xylophone. Oh, um, I'm sick and tired of it. Really sick and tired of it. We don't want it no more. We don't want it no more. Is there no other instrument? Who's gonna dare to use a triangle? Hmm? Who's gonna dare to feature a triangle on their track? Who's gonna dare to feature the tambourine? Every day there's xylophone. We are tired of the xylophone. 2019. No more xylophone. No more. Shops that till this day don't take card. Till this day you don't take card. You only take cash. Are you alright? Okay. Or you wanna take the aux cord and they don't deliver? Wow. Wow. Get to the back. Get to the back now. I hate when you go to the beauty shop and you're there to do one thing and they start to pinpoint everything that you need to get done. You go there to get your brows done. All of a sudden you've got a moustache, got a beard, a mole that needs to be taken care of. Auntie, just do my eyebrows, please. Some of you sites, the size chart is rubbish. Am I a size six or am I? Which one is it? People who take off their shirts to fight. That, especially the ones that are going gym. The ones that are going gym, they will show the game anytime, any place. As soon as you look at them funny, what? It's game time. It's show time. When you get on the train, right, and you're so tired to the point where you're even willing to sit on the floor. When you're so tired and you're standing, you're on the train, you know London Transport sometimes getting a seat at peak time is a bit of a, it's a miracle. You're standing there, your legs are shaking, you're trying to make your way through, especially if you've got a long journey. And then there's someone sitting there doing the movements as if, oh, they're getting ready to leave. You as well, you're getting excited. You're getting ready to go and sit down on the seat. The stop comes now, you're waiting for them to leave. Turns out they were just looking for something in their pocket. Oh my God, that one hurts. I'm this close to buying a baby on board badge. I'm this close, don't be that person. Don't be that person doing, flipping, gumbling on the train, sleeping on people's shoulders. Sick of concerts. The anticipation, okay? You pay to see one artist, you see five other artists for how many hours, and you see the artist you paid for, for 30 minutes. I'm sick of it. Do better, because one, you're late, and two, you're inconsiderate. 2019, do better. You know when you burn your tongue, and it's your fault, it's my fault, okay? When the, you eat something that's really nice, instead of waiting for the food to cool off, or blow on it like a human being. You go, burn your tongue, burn the roof of your mouth. The next few days after that, or just hell. You can't taste the food properly. You can't enjoy the food properly. It's just a horrible time. And you sit down and you reminisce on all the good days. All the good days. All makeup that says transfer proof. It's not transfer proof. It's a lie. Anybody comes to you with a white shirt. You already are doing this. You do your best to avoid getting any makeup on them. You've hugged them and now you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna let go. I'm always scared to let go because I know when I come out, there's a possibility that there could be a big brown piece of damage on your clothes. Step back, boom, 
piece of damage on the white clothing. What do you do? Do you tell them or do you just watch them? I'm really sorry, but I'm just I'm just gonna watch it. I'll let you figure it out later on. Yes, guys, that was my little slash very big list of pet peeves. I'm sure there are so many more, but new year, new me, as they say. Lies, that's another thing I hate. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys can relate to some of them, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if there are any more that I've not mentioned that really grind your gears, get on your nerves, leave them down below. I'd love to have a laugh. I'd love to see if I can relate to them. Like, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I will wait.